Before operating the valve, place it on a test stump or on the actual pump if your procedures allow. Confirm the settings by noting where the pointer intersects the calibration plate. Make sure the valve is in the reset position by pushing the reset handle in the direction indicated on the handle. To make sure the valve is reset, check the button on the rear of the valve to see that it is in the full out and set position. Push the button in and reset it several times to see how the valve looks and feels when it is reset. The travel difference between the offset and reset position of the valve is very small, one eighth of an inch to one quarter of an inch. Pressure the valve to the set position and set it off to confirm the setting. If the valve is not within range, adjust the pointer using the nut on the stud. For fine tuning, turn the load screw in the direction needed to make the adjustment. If the valve goes off appreciatively lower than its set point, for example, if it goes off at 1800 PSI when it is set to 3000 PSI, low oil volume in the internal chamber is indicated. If this is the case, open the set screw and pump until the oil starts to flow. Close the set screw and pressure to 1000 PSI. Then open the Allen set screw and bleed it back to 100 to 200 PSI and retighten the screw. If the valve is difficult to reset and no residual pressure is indicated on the pressure gauge, use the reset assist bar, if it is in the up position, by hitting down on the top of the bar. Movement will be in 1 8 inch increments until the handle can be used to finish the reset. Cheater bars are acceptable. If the valve needs more oil, the valve should be left on the test stump or left in position on the pump in the full reset position. If the valve is operating correctly, this procedure should not be needed more than twice a year, if at all.